Hey everyone, I'm Chris, and in this quick Unreal tutorial, I'm going to show you how to invert the middle mouse pan in Unreal. I'm going to first show you how to do it in your current projects, and then I'm going to show you how to make it a little bit more permanent and make it the default for any new projects that you create. This is going to be a super quick tutorial, so let's get going. So to start with, I'm going to show you the problem in a pre-existing project. So I have open already here. I have my default tutorial project. And when I middle mouse click and drag to the right, the image moves to the left. And that's because the camera is moving to the right. And if I middle mouse drag to the left, the image moves to the right in the opposite direction. This may not be what some of you expect if you come from a program like, say for instance, Maya. To fix this is relatively simple. All we could do is come to Edit, Editor Preferences, and then we come down to the Level Editor, Viewports, and we check this Invert Middle Mouse Pan checkbox. And when I close that and I middle mouse click and I'm going to drag left, the image moves left, and I mid middle mouse drag to the right, and the image moves to the right. So the problem with what we just did is that is unique to the, the individual project. And I'm going to demonstrate that by starting up a brand new project here, a completely empty scene. I'm going to call it whatever, leave it as my project. I don't really care. And now that that's launched up, you see we have a completely empty scene, but when I middle mouse and drag to the left, the image moves the opposite way, same when I drag to the right. And that's because as you might expect, under the level edges for viewports, the invert middle mouse pan is not checked. Now the reason this is happening is because all of these settings in here are being copied from a default location. So I'll show you how to fix that really quick so that this is always checked every time you start. The easiest way to get yourself started will be to come in here and check it in any old scene. And I'm going to click this set as default. Now you might think this is setting as a default for all of your Unreal projects in the future. It's not, it's not doing what you think it's doing. Let me show you what it's actually doing. I'm going to browse to my Unreal projects folder here. And here's the, my project that I just opened up. And in the config folder here, when I clicked this set as default option, grab that window back. What I actually did was created this default editor per project user settings. I'm not going to go into what this is, but we're just going to use this real quick to set up the defaults. So I'm going to double click on that. I already have this set to open up in a text editor. And this is all the settings that it saved out when we click that button. The one that we're interested in is this one here, B invert middle mouse pan equals true. I'm going to copy that. Now we need to go to the default location that these settings are copied from when we start a new Unreal project. I'm going to post a link to where that is down below, but in my case, it's in my C drive program files, Epic Games, the UE5 engine config. And it's actually this base editor per project user settings in e. This is the one that's copied to be the default settings every time. So I'm going to open that. There is a lot of stuff in here. And I'm going to do control F to find the B invert middle mouse pan, select next. And there it is by default set to false. So all I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to make a backup of this. Always be safe. So let's just rename that instead of copy. I'm going to call it underscore backup. And now in the main one, I'm going to Change the invert middle mouse pan to true with a capital T. That is important. I'm going to hit control S and I'm going to close that. And I'm going to close this Unreal Dell and I'm going to start up a new one. And there's my project, but we're going to launch and start a new one. So I'm going to go the same, a blank one. This will be called my project two because we already have a my project. 
Now, if we come to the edit, editor preferences, under viewports, you can see it is now checked by default. Nice and simple. I hope you all found that useful. If you're having any troubles at all, please do feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you to try and help you out. But the links to where you can find those files are in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials in the future and leave a comment and let me know if there's anything you particularly like the tutorial. Until next time. Yeah.